Okay, so now that you've seen the benefit of creating track stacks, just like right here where we've got these vocals, um, there's also great benefit in color coding your individual tracks and regions. Now I've done this here with all of the individual tracks on this page, as well as the regions and folders that we can see right here. I've also done it within each track stack. So each of these uh, regions and the corresponding tracks have been color coded. So let me show you how to get this done. Okay, so here's the drum track stack that I created earlier. Um, and as you can see, all of the track colors are the same. And down here, as you, you come down from the overheads left and right and you go into keyboards, it's hard actually to tell um, where the drums start and stop. And that's why I think it's important or useful to somehow uh, color code all of your tracks as well as your regions. Now to do this, I mean, what I've done as well before I go on is I've actually rearranged all of my drums into some sort of logical order. Um, to do that, you simply drag and drop um, the track. You click, drag and drop. I'm going to put left and right back like that. So I've got my drum, my kicks, inner and outer, snare top and bottom. I've got my hats and my overheads. Now what I want to do is I want to um, color code all of the regions. So first thing you do, you click and highlight um, the group that you want to color code. You then use the option C key command to pull up the color palette. And I'm going to go for, I'm going to color, let's see, my drums are going to be this color. Okay. I also want to color code the drum tracks with the same color. Now what you do is you click there and then you hold down the shift key and you click each individual track or in fact I'm going to go straight to the end and I'll be able to highlight all of the tracks from start to finish. There we go. And now I need to control click or right click on this colored section and choose assign track color and we know that it was this color over here in the bottom corner click that and now all of our drum tracks have got the same color so the actual folder is the same as the tracks and as you can see right here i've actually pulled the overhead right outside of the track stack so to do this i'm going to open up the track stack folder and pull this and drop it inside and if I close that we're back in business okay so all the drums are together okay so so far we've um, arranged everything in groups so we've got all our BVs here we've got our drums and we've got our keys and guitars all in place and what I've done is I've changed the icon to correspond with what's on the actual track so like we've got vocals here so I've changed the icon there and the BVs the same in terms of the group I'm going to show you how you can change this right here right now so you're going to move to that and you're going to click here and we're going to choose I know that this is this this was a vo female vocal so I'm going to work my way through and change all of these to female vocal. Down the bottom here I've got three male background vocals so I'm going to click on that and this one and this one and this one. Okay so now as you can see all of the background vocal tracks within the track stack have been um, ha have had their icon changed to represent the type of voice whether it be male or female on the track i'm going to set, do the same thing for the drums so you all you need to do is hit this down arrow and you go through all of the drums and change the icons so once again at a glance you can tell what um, sits on each track so let me go through and change these and i'll be right back okay so once again i can show you that i've gone through and i've changed the icons for the drums so we've got our drums the main track stack icon is right here it says drums you open it up and in here you've got all of the individual drum parts where the icons represent what's on the track okay the same with the vocals and um, this is a really useful thing uh, for you to do this is all prep in supporting your workflow during the mix process <laughs> 